Hi, my name is Jackie Lee Price and welcome to Shadow Box Home. We have a special guest back again. Her name is Katharina Fernandez. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good and you? <laughs> I'm well, I'm well, I'm well. You look well. Yes, I am back home, back to Spain. Uh, and yeah, training again. So, so I'm doing good, yeah. So what has been happening uh, since your fight against Terry Harper? I understand that you came away with some injuries. What were they and, you know, have they all healed up? Yeah, more or less. Uh, I got my, uh, my, my eardrum was like perforated. I don't know how you say that in English, actually. Perforated. Perforated, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> that was maybe the worst thing. Uh, I've never, I've never experienced that before. So that was completely new. Um, and then, uh, th and that happened uh, in round two, I think, more or less. So, uh, and then I got my nose broken. <laughs> it doesn't look broken. Uh, maybe because I've got glasses on. Oh, I can see it a little bit, but. Still yeah, beautiful. no, Still but I, I was able to go to the hospital and then they, I got like some local anesthesia and they put it on back to the place. <laughs> oh, okay. You actually look good. So I know it's, uh, yeah. it's kind of part and parcel of our job though, isn't it? As boxers. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so how does having a perforated um, eardrum, how does that affect your performance? Because I'm guessing it affects balance and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Things went so fast that it's difficult for me to explain it properly. But it was like a feeling of having more difficulties to get into my my distance. Like, yeah, that's maybe the best way to explain it. And when I've seen the video, I can see it in my performance that I struggled a bit. Um, getting in the distance that I wanted to so uh, so yeah it of course it made me think about oh what is happening you know because I had this strange noise in my ear what <laughs> and it was like being under the water or something like that you know when you're under the water and you hear everything all the noises quite differently so yeah it was just a new experience and I think what I say to people is okay now I know what it is. So if it happens to me again, I think I will handle it better. So hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the fight. I mean, we're not trying to take anything away uh, um, from Terry, but was no. there a situation with the year that you kind of almost like it's quite difficult was it quite difficult to be spatially aware so did you think you were closer than you were and then and like you say you've had a look back and thought oh my god I was actually nowhere nearer yes it was it was more difficult it was yeah <laughs> yeah usually you're someone that can judge um, distance really well and I could see that you were you know having quite a bit of difficulty um, on the night I mean obviously Terry was keeping it long range yeah. uh, uh, so obviously she was doing her part in that but um, yeah I mean I was quite surprised that you weren't able to close that gap down on the night um, was she more yeah. tricky than you than you thought she would be yeah I mean we have to we have to congratulate her as well you know because of course she had a good game well she had a game plan and she, she sticked to it and that's also something difficult to do so she also did her job great and you know there's no excuses I mean you know with, yeah everything can happen in a fight of course I was convinced that I was going to be able to 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 do a much better performance and uh, I didn't get to do it. Anyway, I, I think there was many good things, but it was just not enough. So, um, and you know, I, I can see that myself looking at the, the fight. So um, of course, you know, when everything finished uh, in the fight, I, I went down with a very, very bad feeling. But now that everything, now that I can see everything from from more distance 
um, um, I think it's more easy to see what I actually did good, you know, because I don't know, when you just lost the fight, you just think that everything was so terrible. And now at least I can see that, well, everything was not very terrible. <laughs> it was just that, you know, I, I missed the right distance. That was one of the things. And uh, she was very fast and she was moving well on her on her feet and uh and i i had some struggling uh, as well so you know it was just many many things put together <laughs> what i do like is what you were saying about um having a, a look back at a fight and looking at the things that you thought oh my god i really don't want to have a look at that but it, it it's it's great for learning but then also um you know, looking at the good stuff that you did. So let's talk about the good stuff that you did because it started to get midway of the of the fight and then you really started to close down the gap and then really started to get on the attacks, which was really beautiful. Talk to me about that. Do you feel a little bit like, you know, okay, I've got her now. I'm, I've got this and I've got to get the, the rest of the rounds under my belt. Yes, absolutely. Uh... I even remember the feeling I had going out to the round nine. I was like, you know, very, very uh, determined. And I was feeling I was already in my thing. Um, so, yes, absolutely. I also think I had a quite good round two. Uh, that was the round when I got the problem with my air. But I've looked at round two quite many times and I think I did good things and then I think it was after round five I was slowly getting into what my boxing looks like uh, so yeah in, in round nine I remember you know to to finishing the break and thinking okay I just got to do my thing you know <laughs> so I was feeling very comfortable already that in, in that moment so there was a general consensus amongst the people that I spoke to yeah <laughs> felt that uh it was an early stoppage how do you feel about that oh absolutely yeah I, I think so too um and many people ask me why I didn't protest or why I didn't say anything and that just has to do with the with my personality uh and also because um, you know, I've been fighting for many years of my life and I have experienced many different situations and I've, I've for example, been in a situation where they gave me the win and I had my opponent complaining, for instance, and I don't think that's a nice thing to do. So it was like a kind of respect for Terry Harper for her moment and I didn't want to destroy that. Uh, but of course, uh, inside of me, I had a big fire, you know, and, and even if in my dreams, you know, I, I dreamt that I was going down the ring and throwing a chair on the judge, you know, like on the <laughs> <laughs> It's like a movie. It's like a movie when you see that side, but then in, yeah. on the outside, you just, I yeah. love it. So I kind of felt better, you know, then I felt better. But yeah, I was, I was frustrated angry because it has it has nothing to do with who was winning on point of course she was winning on points i'm totally aware of that um but it's the fact of taking away like my last opportunity so i was not able to play all my cards in the 10 rounds and um and you know everything was also um a, a consequence of of like I went out to, uh, to round nine, I got a huge head clash, I was not able to recover and of course I lost my focus and when I lost my focus I got hit to, to the body, it was a good shot and I was actually getting out of that situation, like I didn't put my knee on the floor and I was able to stand on my two feet and you know I was starting to recover and even throwing punches. And then he came and he stopped the fight. So of course, yeah, I thought it was a very unfair situation, um, but I didn't protest because I respect, I respect my opponent and the situation. And I don't think it's nice to make this 
drama out of something that is, you know, just sport. But yeah, I, I got it inside of me. <laughs> the anger and the frustration. <laughs> I, I killed him a couple of times in my dreams. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, listen, the good thing, the great thing about that, firstly, let's talk about the, the way that you dealt with that was utter, utter class. That's not to say, you know, everybody's different. I probably would have actually thrown the chair. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But it was utter, utter class. That's the first thing. The second thing shows that what you thought in your mind means you are no walkover. <laughs> so don't get it twisted, people. She's no walkover. But um, the reason why I say the general consensus was that they thought that, uh, people thought that you, um, it was unlucky for you and the fight was stopped too early but for the reasons that you've just said that you were still fighting, you were coming back into the fight. But actually it was also because when people watched the, um, the fight after, which was obviously the Katie Taylor fight, her opponent was in much, much, much more distress than you were. And I feel that that's where people kind of came to this, you know, to this conclusion that like, hold up, what's going on here? That's not fair. <laughs> do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I am. Yes. Yeah, there in that fight, we could see a quite big difference in, in, in the level, I guess. You know, and maybe in, in my fight with Terry Harper, even though I was losing the rounds, I don't think you could see a huge difference in, 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 the, in, the, in, our, in our performance or in, in our level as, as boxers. It was just that she probably had a better game plan and it worked for her that evening. But, but yeah, it, it, it was quite equal when it came to... I don't know how to say this in English, <laughs> but I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Uh, just the same ability uh, or, or mm -hmm. same level of ability. But what I will say to you, in the interest of fairness, mm -hmm. what would you say to people that say, listen, hold up, you weren't fighting back, you were injured, you were having a difficult time throughout the fight. The referee saved you. What would you say, say to those people? Well, I, I think it's important to know uh, what the boxing rules says. And uh, I think the referee needs to stop a fight when you are not able to protect yourself anymore. And that was absolutely not my case. Uh, I think, you know, I, I had a solid guard. Um, I was covering myself very good because, you know, I had to get over that that first seconds. Um, then I was even able to move on my feet, uh, which which you would not be able to do if you were in a very bad situation. And I was throwing punches so that those three things are just to prove that I was protecting myself. So there's no need for him then to stop the fight. <laughs> and well, I can say it also from here that, that yes, I did feel the shots. Of course I did. Um, so I, I had to think like a plan. Okay, now I have to cover myself. I have to, to, uh, to move and just, you know, little by little, I, I will be back again. But I did not feel like a major injury that I was not able to finish the fight or anything like that. I just had like some bad seconds in, in round number nine and, and that's it. And of course it was a mix also because I had a lot of blood coming out of my nose. <laughs> but that's boxing, I'm used to that, you know. I think in, in a male fight, nobody would even question this. <laughs> True. Mm. Absolutely true. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think I could have said it better myself. Um, is there a clause for you to have a rematch? No. <laughs> That's a shame. No. <laughs> That's a shame because that would have been a good one. Yeah, probably, yes. Yeah, it would. It would. 
Yeah. So listen, yeah. what's happening with your boxing career um, come 2021? What are, you, what are your thoughts on where you want to go now? Well, I hope, I hope to box, you know, as soon as possible. Uh, I've not been talking about this with my promoter yes, uh, yet, but I, I, I hope to box, you know, before March. And uh, I would really like to have an active 2021 because, you know, I only got that one fight with Terry Harper uh, this year. So I hope to get more activity next year and uh, yeah, just to, to get back on track <laughs> really. <laughs> and, and hopefully I will, I'll, um, hopefully I will get a big opportunity again and then I will take the, take it with both hands and try to, to do my, my best to, you know, be where I want to be. <laughs> so what has been your biggest lesson in 2020? My biggest lesson? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be boxing related. Okay. Um, well, maybe my biggest lesson has been that things don't always turn the way we expect. Um, and, you know, then it's just really really important to to keep focused and keep believing in yourself uh, of course you know the the two days after the fight i was you know i was having a hard time but i'm quite um proud of myself that i got back to my positive mindset quite quite fast and i still believe in myself and i still think i can achieve the goals that i have in my mind so it's just about keep keeping on working and and not let one loss define you so uh, so i think it's it's natural to have you know some bad days after after a situation like that because of course i i trained a lot i i put a lot a lot of effort you know in the preparation and it didn't go my way and i was very confident that i would make it and i didn't so of course that is a disappointment but as i say uh, things don't always turn the way we we think and then we have to accept it and just you know keep keep on working and and keep on looking at the future <laughs> and the past is the past <laughs> and we can all only learn from it from the past absolutely do you know what you're an absolute class act that's what we would <laughs> say in england an absolute class act and also just <laughs> such um such a wonderful sportswoman and a great ambassador for the sport Thank you. <laughs> absolute, uh, you know, you're a gem. You really are. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so listen, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. <sighs> you too. Enjoy with the family and friends and yeah. <laughs> you too. So thanks very much for giving us your time. Okay, speak to you soon. <laughs> Thank you. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber of Shadowbox UK, we'd love to see you. So please go ahead and subscribe now.